guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. I have coffee and I have a sugar-free peppermint. My allergies are crazy. Okay, I didn't find a lot of stuff, but I found some fun stuff to share with you. So this is in no particular order. I just have bags and bags are important. All right, let's go. We found the, this is the Scrubbing Bubbles Foaming Bleach Erase Mold and Mildew. And this is a big in. This is 32 ounces. Now, if you notice, we don't have the top. So I have to go buy a foaming scrubbing bubble at the regular store, but that's okay. I mean, I have showers that need to be clean, right? And I got a refill. And I may already even have some of this. I'll have to check. Hi, hi, hi Alex. Hi, hi. Okay, go, go. He hears me talking every time. Well, I'm kind of sleeping because he could care less. Gotta get off my desk. Okay, thank you. Oh yeah, keep going. He said no, did you hear him? Come on. All right. I have some more stuff. I'll just let him sit there. I found this. It is Mother Needs a Moment. Four individual box, hey stop, boxes of tea bags. So you get five different tea bags, um, lemon, ginger, passion fruit, pineapple twist, and peach mango. Just lay down. Yeah, good job. Peach mango. So I thought that was interesting. I have no idea what the quality of this is, and I'm assuming it was out for Mother's Day, but I just ran across it the other day. We're gonna open one of these little boxes. I love tea, so. I will drink it as long as it's okay. Let me do this. I just wanna, oh, they're so cute. Look at this tiny little box. If you're into paper crafting, you could totally cover this with paper and use it as like a little gift box. So these are not individually wrapped and you get five little tea bags. Mm, it smells good. I like fruity tea only cold. I don't like it hot. But I love these little boxes. These are adorable. Okay, so we have that. I grabbed some of these Aqua Aquarelle Antibacterial Travel Wipes. These are for hands and face, ideal for traveling, moisturizing, thick and soft cloths, fresh scent, vitamin E and aloe. So I like to keep these in my purse, especially in the summertime when I'm out and about and if I need to like clean my hands or face. But also like picnics, these are great for. Pool bag, I'll just throw it in my pool bag and call it a day, probably. Um, These are not new, but I decided that I would like to try my Cricut and iron on something on here. And this, one of these may become part of the giveaway for my Pelotonia. And they have the plastic on the inside and I did get a new iron, the Cricut Easy Press. So I grabbed three different colors to try and um, see if I can personalize these because I think these specific bags lend to that with the blank up here. I could do double sided, but I'm not sure with the fabric how it'll work out. So I grabbed three to practice with and if they work, then I might buy some more. So that goes in my crafting stuff. Um, they had some computer stickers or tech stickers. Decorate uh, with endless possibilities. It says you can change the world, focus on the good, remember why you started, you matter, and it's always coffee time. And I'm wondering if these are more like a cling and less like a sticker because it looks like they're for like computers and stuff. So we'll check those out. I do have, I have a plastic case around my laptop and I put the stickers on that. Um, I grabbed a birthday card for my brother. And I grabbed a couple more of these for, um, I call me my grandmother, but I put them on my chair where the cats like to lay where I'm stitching because fur and stuff and their claws and they end up pulling those. So I replace them a little more frequently and that is okay. 
I still do not understand why these metal letters are so much smaller than the metal numbers. It doesn't make sense. I wanted to do like an address or something, but that's not going to work. However, I thought these would be fun. And for cross stitch, cross stitching, I can make little stitch minder or needle minders. Just throw a magnet on the back and then that will hold your needle. Needle Nanny, Needle Minder, there's all different names for them. But. So I grabbed A through M and N through Z. So you only get half of the alphabet. But these are, they are um, aluminum, I think, or stain, galvanized steel, galvanized. So I grabbed those for crafting. And then also these are new to me, sort of. It's the burlap ribbon, but this feels wider than what they used to sell. And these edges are finished, which I think is fantastic. And quite frankly, I could cross stitch on this if I wanted to. Do I want to? I don't know. Will I? Maybe. I would use the full um, six six threads to go through this for sure. I don't know. I just thought these were interesting. So I grabbed two to try or at least to make bows with, but I think it would also be super fun to like cross stitch something on here and then like lay it out. So I grabbed that just to mess around with really. Um, who knows what will happen. I'll put you right next to me. Excuse me, your tail doesn't belong here, but thank you. Also, if you have the Cricut Joy, this will work on a regular Cricut too, but these are this size is for the Cricut Joy um, cutting machine specifically. Now, again, you can use it on bigger, but you can't use the bigger on smaller, if that makes sense. But I just wanted to show you how pretty that is. Like, even if you didn't want to cut it, you could just put this somewhere. It is so pretty. It just screams spring or summer to me, but it is sticky back. And if you don't have a cutting machine, but if you have like die cut stamps, you know, you can stamp this, I'm pretty sure, and make shapes or stickers or use it as like background. But I loved this. They had it in like the plain colors too, but I really enjoyed um, that flower design. Apparently I don't have a lot of stuff, so I need to stop going so fast. Let's go slow. No, I'm kidding. Um, I did find, look at that. This is a 10 pack of tissues. 10 pack for a dollar 25. Thank you. Dollar tree. Um, I keep these in my car. Also when I'm riding my bike, I put these in my back pocket of my bike. These will get used this summer not a problem for me. When I'm out riding in nature, I definitely get a stuffy nose and it will start running. So I need to have tissues with me. And these are the perfect size and they're soft. So I can just throw them in my um, back pocket of my bicycle and I'll open them up and then I have tissues with me. And I also liked the packaging this time around. That's very, um, like, soft colors and a 10 pack I've never seen there before so I said well girl you need that because it's bicycle season real soon like I need to get my bike out and moving shortly that soon um I grabbed one of these magnets it's not new but I will be having some company soon thing in my spare bedroom and I'm going to take my white marker and just write the um the wi-fi code and it is magnetic so I can stick it up on something downstairs in my basement which is my spare bedroom and if they forget the wi-fi code it's right there I'm wondering if these are for like weddings or something it just says hello welcome wi-fi password is so maybe it's just for people you know coming to your house I don't really know that answer but they had several different designs and I liked it. It's magnetic and I could just kind of stick it wherever. However, it's my brother and I'm assuming they already have my Wi-Fi code, but 
I found the Gildan's underwears. This is a four pack, so there's three here and one back here, and this is just a blue color and then a stri one stripey pair. This is a men's 2X, which one of my brothers actually wears this size, so I grabbed two packages for him. I think for Christmas, I'm gonna get him some socks and underwear. He's the brother that needs socks and underwear for Christmas, if you know, like, one of those brothers. And this will be his size, and it will fit him. Um, so I grabbed two packages. I mean, these are nice. I don't know what the, I don't know what the regular price is, but I'm going to say around $14 for four pack of underwear seems what I've seen. I don't really know. I don't buy men's underwear on the regular, but I thought that my brother might appreciate that. Okay. Well, he might not, but he needs it. I already called him and told him. Um, I finally, my store had these in stock. I get these every few years. These come in stock at my store. These are your egg holders. Now, you can order these online, a case of them. I just didn't need a case. And I don't need any, but my niece, I asked her if she would like a couple for her refrigerator. I have four in my refrigerator. And when I come home, I throw my eggs right in there, put the lid on, stack them in the fridge. And you can see how many eggs you have. And I just like the way it looks aesthetically. But because of the lids, they stack neatly and nicely and keeps them protected. Also, um, if you have friends that have chickens, you can just take them these and they can refill fresh eggs for you. I'm just saying, Wendy. I need fresh eggs, Wendy. Stephanie, I need eggs. You know who you are. So I grabbed those for Sarah. Cause like I said, I have some. Um, I found one of these. I know these are not new. I just wanted to play with it again. You can just cut a piece of paper. You just turn this around or trace it. And then it screws on. And then the top screws on. It's not keeping anything overly hot or cold, but I just thought it would be fun to mess around with and maybe put stickers all over it or something. I don't know. Fun fact is I saw a ton of these at Goodwill for a dollar. Um, I found this package. I've got plenty of beads, but I got these to show you that they are out there. This is just a variety pack. Now, if you don't need a ton of beads, this is perfect, especially for like noses, for gnomes, eyes, ears, feet, for little projects, like this is perfect. But if you need more than this, I don't think it's cost effective. I think if you went on to Amazon, you could get a better deal on a larger package of beads. Because um, you would need to make a garland, like six or seven bags, to get enough of the right size. But for little, to have on hand, for little doodahs, and like like I said, nose and toes and ears and little decor or decorations for a few things, this is a perfect size. I love coffee, guys. Also, I found in the beading area, at one of my stores, these fun beads. These are like, I don't know what the name is. They look like a torpedo to me. But these are the long, very um, boho, retro 70s vibe. And I feel like together this could make something fun. You can make necklaces, but, and I know they've had these beads before, but in colors, which I didn't care for. So you get 30 and they're oval wood beads is what they're calling them. So I thought these would be fun to add to maybe like even a planter or some macrame or something. I'm assuming this is like macrame stuff because they also have these. Now there's different sizes of these. So they have the large wooden rings and the medium, I would say. You get six of this size and five of the larger rings. I'm going to open these up. They're very smooth, mostly. I mean, I would definitely say all but this one. This one was a little rough on the inside. You can use these for all kinds of arts and crafts, but I was thinking for my cross stitch, if I had a project that I was only using one color of floss, that I would just store it on one of these wooden rings because I love it. I love the way it feels, but these are fun. These are very smooth. That one was a little rough on the inside, but these are very smooth. And again, macrame is what I'm thinking 
that they're kind of bringing out. I bet you any time now, or some stores have the, the rope or the twine or the, the macrame cotton that you use to create. Here, let's do our thumbnail. Perfect. So I was so excited to find those. I have not seen those, anything like that at my stores and I love all the wooden little doodahs. Now, here is something else, and this was funny because it was not with all the other um, electric cutting machine stuff or the Cricut or the any of the machines that you have with the vinyl, but that's what this is, except this is, it's a roll of sticker paper, so you can write on this, and it does say on here you probably don't want to use transfer tape, it's sticky back. And you can't use it on an inkjet printer. So, I don't know, but you can make labels. You can cut it with your cutting machine. But I think I'm going to use a, sta a paper stamp to cut and make labels with these, like a paper prep punch. But this is a whole entire spool of sticker paper. How fun. And if you have littles, my goodness, how much fun would they have if you made them some stickers or they made their own stickers? And if you did let your kids do it, what I would do personally is let them color it and then take some packing tape and go over it and then cut them out for them and let them make some like shiny stickers. And the packing tape will protect any type of moisture or whatever. And then they have a sticker that's shiny. And you just go over it with packing tape. So I thought this was so fun. Like this was really a fun find. These, these items were super fun to find at my one at one store. I don't haven't seen them at any other stores except for that one. I'm just cleaning up my mess. I just have one more bag of stuff here and there isn't much in it. I did grab one more package. Like I said, there was, I grabbed two packages of the undies for that. Let's take all this out of this bag. Okay, I found the Tiava. I'm, I'm going to say Tiava, Tijava. I don't know what it is, but it's unsweetened black tea. And I, I like it. Um, it's a little strong for me. I like a, a weaker tea, if you can see how dark that is, which is perfect because I use this and I do half and half. I list like a weak iced tea. Um, and I grabbed four of these and I don't think $1.25 is a terrible price and it's no sugar, no additives, no preservatives, no calories. It's just unsweet tea. And I think they had sweetened as well, but for me, I need the unsweet. So I grabbed four of those. I have been looking for it actually. Um, in with the bags, again, this is a practice item for me with my new, um, Cricut heat press that I can cut a design and iron it on. And I just wanted to try and see if I can personalize one of these bags. And so in with the bags that they had printed, so they have like the gnomes and all that. If you go to the back where they're hanging, they have blank. There's nothing on these bags. So again, you could get some fabric paint, put a piece of cardboard in between. You could paint on it or let your littles paint on it. They could do hand prints. I mean, this would be a fun project for not a lot of money. Any kind of paint would really work. But I grabbed two just to try with my iron, with my iron on press. Um, and then same thing for crafty purposes. I grabbed some bandanas. Um, I like decorating with these in the summer, but I'm thinking um, of a wreath idea. Now I saw this Southern girl can use some yellow and I believe she made a um, sunflower wreath with bandanas. Now I'm not going to do a sunflower. I want to do something I think with the nautical theme for like 4th of July Memorial Day type thing. So I grabbed six of the blue and then I have that red anchor for the red white and blue but I don't have I think I got rid of all my round frames so I need to get a round some type of a round reform girl words and do some type of something if I can get around to it before Memorial weekend which is next couple weeks so 
Anyway, they didn't have red at my store, but I figured I have the red anchor and I could do the red, white, the blue and white in here and the red accent. So I grabbed six of those to cut up. And then this is just hysterical. And this is going to be a gag gift Christmas for my brother's stockings and it is pocket cologne. So one of them is gonna get bergamot spice scent and one is gonna get cedar. It is seriously pocket cologne and I am totally giving these to my brothers as stocking gifts for Christmas because I feel like they need that in their life. That is everything that I picked up at my Dollar Trees. Like I said, we're in a little bit of a slump at the Dollar Trees right now and it's just, it is between seasons and it happens every year and I know that and we're all busy so I'm okay with that but I did want to show you what I was able to find and I hope you enjoyed it. And Alex says bye. And ugh, my little man. Oh, we got a two for today, guys. Come here, Alex. Come here. I will say hi. You want to say goodbye to our friends? It is our lucky day. We got a two for a Wellington and an Alex. Oh, nobody wants to see your butt. I know. All right, guys. I hope you have a good one. And I will talk with you later.